What 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 exactly is going on in these pictures? Well, this this young man's being forced to uh, by Belgian forces in Somali to uh, drink a mixture of salt water vomit and eat worms, and then it also talks about how in the Village Voice how they how how they got uh, actually had the entire article at home how they got them inside so that the Hutus. They, they got a whole group of Hutus inside a building and then left the compound and then let the rivals come in and kill them. Yeah, and so the American public has been, the American public has been, uh, they haven't been told about it. You can actually get this issue. This? No. Well, then how, how did you get this issue? Well, I mean, these are, in, in Europe, it's widely reported. So you're talking about the atrocities. Uh, but you don't think that's the issue. You think these people are just being Machiavellian and trying to hurt the UN by showing these pictures. Uh, yes, I do, actually. So you think these pictures just, it's kind of a good thing that the press has ignored them because the press, the mainstream press, understood that these people were just trying to manipulate, so they haven't shown us these pictures. Well, it seems as though if uh, this was actually such a big deal as, as this uh, new American makes it to be, it seems like it would be definitely more widespread amount. Let me ask you a question. Are you familiar with what Pol Pot did in Cambodia? Killed over two and a half million people. You didn't hear much about that. Uh, yes, I did, actually. I are, studied them. Are you familiar with Kirk Waldheim? who was the Secretary General of the United Nations from 1972 to 1982. No, I was, I'm not familiar. Do you know who he was? He was a high-ranking SS officer in World War II, and the, and the United Nations knew it, and they fought to protect him, but the world community demanded that he be taken out. Hmm. Well, I, I, I remember that name, and, th and that's historical fact, Kirk Voltheim. Okay. R really, remember that name. Justin, it's Kirk Voltheim. Kirk Voltheim? Yeah, remember that name, Secretary General from 1972 to 1982. All right, I will. And find out who, who, who pushed for the League of Nations and then later the United Nations, a bunch of transnational corrupt interest. And then they get a lot of good people at the lower levels that believe it's for the kids and all that, but really it's fascism packaged nicely. Um, I don't know what to say about that. It's about losing sovereignty. Really? Yes. No. Um, the... Well, look. You can ignore them burning the kids, and you can ignore all that, but what you don't want to ignore, and what you can't ignore, is Kirk of all time. Um, I, I don't understand how I could not ignore him. Well, I'm just saying that's something that's totally historical. Oh, uh, okay. Um, Let me ask you. Where is this picture taken? That was taken in Somalia. In Somalia? Yes, that's been all over the European press. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. Are you familiar with the fact that we hear all day about the atrocities of Hitler, which were horrible and wrong and, and terrible, and he should have been executed if they could have caught him, and many more like him, and they did. Yeah. But you never hear about Stalin, who killed more than he did. Why is but that? I do. I st I've studied Stalin. Well, I, you've I, studied it, but what do you hear more in the press? Um, I don't hear much about the Holocaust very much. Oh, really? Well, you, no, not, not, not in the press lately. Well, I'm talking about for 50 years, and we should hear about it. We should see it, but you don't hear much about the atrocities in China, do you? Uh, 30 million in slave labor camps? I've heard about that, yes. Oh, but you've heard about it, but we have to be pragmatic and still keep trading in human organs. They sell human organs for political dissonance. Would you have bought lampshade? Would you have bought a lampshade made out of Jewish skin? No, I would not have. Well, then why are we saying be pragmatic now with China that's selling human organs? It's the same thing, trading in human flesh. Well, I certainly disagree with trading human flesh. Well, then you and the United Nations should stand up against China instead of embracing them and coddling them. I, th I agree with that. Good, then get in there and tell them. All right, I certainly will. Thank you so much. You too. Appreciate it. Well, you've seen what's going on around the country and here in Austin, Texas, where this was produced. Now you're going to see me, Alex Jones, and about a hundred other people go down to the Texas Department of Public Safety and protest thumb scanning, finger imaging for driver's license. Yes, everyone must get it. And according to the Federal Register, President Clinton would like to start random urine, blood, or other tissue sample testing at the driver's license facilities around the nation. Well, don't hear it from me. Hear it from newscast and our cameras that were there on the scene the fateful day that 100 Americans stood up to Big Brother. Well, getting a driver's license caused quite a stink here in Austin today. You know, in Texas, if you want one of these, well, you have to give your thumbprints. But KISJ Carter shows you why some folks today said they don't want anybody scanning their body parts. I'm going to go up, and if they come up and touch me in any way, I'm going to lay down peaceably and let the police state minions drag me away. Alex okay? Jones wants Let's to renew right his driver's license. Right. He also expects here. to be arrested. I'm going in there with my passport, my birth certificate, 
my driver's license, my W-2 form. But he won't give a thumbprint. Moments after license. this interview, troopers did arrest him. Yeah, if you do right. not leave now, I will be forced uh, to arrest him. Sir, I'm here to get a driver's license. I have never had a criminal okay. record. And let's go. Time to go. Jones says fingerprinting gives government too much control. And the next thing you know, they'll ask for urine and blood samples. Okay. Rebecca Yoakum walked through the crowd of protesters to renew her license. She didn't mind giving her thumbprint. I really don't see anything wrong with the thumbprinting, and it's kind of weird how everybody's protesting about it. But the protesters believe if they don't speak up now, the requirements to drive could get even more personal. With your eye on Austin, I'm Jay Carter. Alex Jones is now in an Austin jail, and he'll face a disorderly conduct charge. The DPS points out, by the way, that its database of thumbprints helped identify some of the victims of the tornado in Gerald last year, and they say this system helps and protects all of us. I'm sorry, sir. You're just flat wrong. This has nothing to do with public safety and everything to do with the international tracking grid that's being set up. All you have to do is watch Lockheed Mark Marietta commercials from the defense industry to Visa commercials. All down the line, they're pushing thumb scanning to buy and sell, and probably within five to ten years, everybody's going to have to do this to buy and sell, and this is all for the IRS to gather intelligence on us. The DPS even admits that it goes to the federal government. It's all hooked into a national database, and you see the free market supposedly engaged in this. It's all part of a grid of control, and some of you will say, well, what do we have to hide? It's called an invasion of privacy, ladies and gentlemen. It's called innocent until proven guilty. It's called a government that has a terrible track record of abusing its citizens and the IRS stealing from innocent people that have broken no laws being abused. I'm just so tired of this. Everything under the color of law. This is totally unconstitutional. Now let's get to the actual video of the actual protest. Blood testing, urine testing, things of that nature. So for those of us that are not in the know and for those of us who really are not in this as you are, could could you kind of explain what's going on here sir i have given you the executive order put in the federal register by bill clinton in 1997 he has announced it he says that urine and blood testing that they plan to do nationwide is only for people 18 and under it is for 25 percent of large state populations randomly selected and they're thumb scanning us like criminals whatever happened to innocent until proven guilty. I heard that. Several forms of identification. I have eight forms of identification, from my passport to my old driver's license to my W-2 form, my tax form to my social security number to my car insurance, and I also have another picture ID. And that had better be enough for them, ladies and gentlemen. This is really getting out of control. Whatever happened to innocent until proven guilty? Why are Americans laying around like sheep and allowing themselves to be treated like criminals? We're law-abiding citizens. At what point do you expect, uh, or do you expect at all, uh, for the what you were talking about, the blood testing, the drug screening? If it, is that really coming? Sir, I have given you the federal documents that are mandating the states to do that. Clinton in 92 mandated the thumb scanning. It has been adopted by many of the states, Texas, since 93. He mandated it in late 1997 for 98 to be implemented. Now, that's up to the states, and that's why we're drawing attention to this. Thumb scanning and no further. I'm against thumb scanning, but now they want this urine and blood testing. This is the slippery slope. And to those out there that say, what do I have to hide? I am innocent until proven guilty. I have no criminal record. Alex Jones has no criminal record, and we should not be treated like criminals. I don't want to ask what you have to hide, but what is it that, that makes you so passionate about this? Our government cannot be trusted. Even liberty. this month's, even yes, liberty, even this month's Popular Mechanics talks about the government testing chemicals and biologicals on our people in the 1950s and 60s. The IRS, you've heard the hearings. There's, there's CIA drug trafficking hearings going on right now in the Congress. This is on television. This government is controlled by a bunch of thugs, in my opinion, and I think a lot of bureaucrats are dupes to it. I just don't trust our government. And our founding fathers warned us not to hate our government, but to fear our government. I should not have to thumb scan and be in a computer. They also digitally capture your signature and your photograph. They could create any false identity they wanted to with your name and your social security number. And many government bureaucrats from the IRS to the EPA have been caught selling information. There are thousands of cases and convictions of this if people would just investigate it. This is an invasion of privacy. That's the most important thing. It's an invasion of privacy. There is no innocent until proven guilty in this country anymore. And Americans across the country have got to start standing up against Big Brother.
And if they come up and touch me in any way, I'm going to lay down peaceably and let the police state minions drag me away. Okay? Let's get ready to go in here in about five minutes.